Hey folks, had a few questions about um, playing some stuff. Um, so I'll endeavour to do that for you. Some of you know I love bluegrass, love country music. Mm, four or five years ago, I got a resonator banjo and I started to learn to play Earl Scruggs style, but couldn't do it. And, you know, it's just a different technique. Uh, and then one of my friends who I hadn't seen for a while, had a banjo. Open, open back banjo. And played claw hammer style. And it blew me away. I was fascinated by it because that was the sound that I was hearing in my mind. So, got rid of that resonator banjo. What an open neck. Because I'd already known, well, learnt some chords, it was just a matter of training the right hand and hitting the string. Not an expert, love it though. Country music, hillbilly music, bluegrass music, it was all the same back in the 30s, 20s, 30s, 40s. Hillbilly music, white blues. That's what I loved about it. Being a blues man, having some experience, you know, with the Delta Blues guys a, a long time before you know, discovering this kind of music. Um, it just dovetailed, made sense. Talking about ordinary life, singing about ordinary daily things. Love the authenticity of it. So I've got a couple of open, act, open back banjos. This one here is a um, daring banjo uh, an artisan steel strings I've got another one I'll show you tomorrow it's got nylon strings uh, my luthier friend Keith McMillan put a scallop in here he scalloped that out for me doesn't come standard with the scallop and Andrew being Andrew I've relicked it a bit Got rid of that chrome look. Looks pretty good. Looks old. I like the player. With my EVH. <laughs> uh, So this is tuned in open G, a little bit flatter, half a step flatter, I think. And when I discovered it was an open G, because I've been playing open G uh, for a couple, you know, for a few years, open G. Keith Richards styles and was ah okay so that's G 
made sense. So straight away you got three chords for free. Open. More later. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me.